Hi everyone, and welcome back to Taste the Code. Today we have a small proof of concept project to show you, and which is a hand washing timer. As you probably are aware, we're currently in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And one of the ways we can fight with the pandemic is to wash our hands regularly and wash our hands thoroughly. So that means that we need to wash them for at least 20 seconds uh, with soap and water. So in order to assist with that, because tracking time is not always straightforward, I've created this um, uh, hand wash timer, which uses a NeoPixel ring and a peer diode. If you haven't used uh, one of those before, make sure to check my last video. It will be up here, uh, where I go through uh, the different modules for detecting movement. Um, what's interesting about this diode is that uh, it usually comes with a lot of extra electronics, but it turns out that if we need to uh, detect movements that is really close to it, we can still use it without anything extra except for this uh, 47K uh, resistor. So the circuit is really simple. The new pixel is powered from the 5 volts of the Arduino and it's also connected to ground and it's connected from pin uh, 6 through uh, uh, around 300 ohms uh, resistor on the signal line and the period out is connected with the drain uh, to 5 volts uh, ground is connected to ground and source is connected to analog input 3 from where we read the value so uh, whenever um, we move our hand in front of the sensor, the diode will detect that and there will be a dip in the analog voltage. Um, because we have a voltage divider created from the inside resistor and um, the external 47K resistor that we added. What I've done in code is I've used part of the Adafruit NeoPixel library example sketch and I modify it to also read the value from the analog input. At the beginning in the setup function, we first initialize the, the strip. Uh, my version has 12 LEDs, so that's what I've set um, in, the, in the settings. And at the beginning, in order for the peer diode to warm up, I've added a delay of five seconds. So uh, the output gets stabilized uh, for the first reading. And then to indicate that now the device is ready, I do a color wipe of red throughout the pixel, um, throughout the, the new pixel ring, and then I turn it off uh, completely. So in the main loop function, whenever uh, we constantly read the value of the analog input, and whenever we go below 100, um, I display the rainbow cycle uh, with 15 milliseconds uh, in between each of the change. That's um, the code here is completely took from the Adafruit example sketch. Um, and uh, that 15 milliseconds will, when combined with the five cycles uh, that the whole rainbow goes through the ring, uh, makes the uh, entire animation lasts about 20 seconds. So let's connect it. And you'll see that the, now the sketch will wait for about 5 seconds. And when everything is ready, here's the red um, indication that now the whole system is ready. And if we now move our hand, so imagine that you are washing your hands. You get some soap and then you wave in front of the sensor and it starts um, displaying this rainbow pattern for about 20 seconds and this is when you are uh, actually washing your hands and you'll continue washing based on the recommendations from the doctors and the world health organization for about 20 seconds and now that the timer is off uh, you can go on and uh, uh, clean the hands and remove the soap with the water. Uh, one interesting thing about the diode and working with it is that it has two detection areas. So basically here in the package there are two detectors, one on the left and one on the right. 
um, to be able to more easily read the signal and not have, have any variations because the signal will first increase the voltage when the first detector detects the movement and then decrease the voltage when the second one decreases uh, uh, detects the movement so in order to prevent that um, up and down which is more difficult to detect uh, i've used some tape on the sensor and uh, it's a tip that i got from uh, an article it's a quite old article but i'll link it down in the description uh, where um, this guy makes uh, some sort of a imaging thermal imaging uh, device with this sensor and I use the same trick and it seems to be working uh, perfectly um, so now we are only using half of that detection diode to only get one dip in the signal Okay, so that's about it for today. I hope that you liked it. Um, the code for the project will be available on my GitHub page, so make sure to check it. The links will be down in the description. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. I make this sort of videos uh, almost every week uh, where I explore some of the topics that I'm interested in, and I'm sure you'll find something that you'll like as well. So be sure to check them out and thank you for watching.